Now we were talking a little bit about how politicians try to sway people into starting a war. The the kind of the, what what they talk about as far as the the enemy goes that they want to attack. Well, <clears throat> uh, a good example is that uh, Hitler. Um, swayed the, the German people into believing that uh, it was necessary to have a preventive war uh, because he uh, uh, told them about uh, the international uh, financial um, uh, uh, bankers who were Jews that they were going to uh, uh, throw all the peoples in the world into a new war. So. He, in a way, he persuaded the German people that it was a good idea to uh, have a, a start a preventive war. Yes, uh, and in fact, Hitler said that not only would uh, the, or, or rather, if they did start this war, they they would not be victors; they would actually lose. Yes, and thus he actually sort of casts himself and the the German people as the. So, sort of the saviors of the Jews who are simply not wise enough to protect themselves. They will, they will start another war and they will lose horribly. So we have to stop them from starting a war or we have to stop them if they do start a war so that they don't destroy themselves. It, yeah. it makes, you know, they, they talk peace but think war. Mm -hmm. Hitler did, for example. Yes. And he also told the German people that they were the best in the world, yes. the Aryan uh, people, uh, who um, deserved to rule the world. Um, the Jews deserved to uh, be uh, annihilated. And uh, that was his uh, policy, especially in, um, of course, uh, Poland and uh, the Soviet Union, um, and also in Germany and all the, the occupied countries. Uh, yes. So um, he um, uh, succeeded in starting the war and he succeeded in um, annihilating uh, six million Jews. Um, which uh, should uh, be a lesson uh, to, uh, uh, for all time. Yeah, the, the danger of yeah. propaganda yes. and an and, uh, and ill-educated populace. The how, how was it the why, why was it that the Germans didn't really know it? their their democracy was very young that was it, part it of was uh, young and uh, rather weak uh, because it was created after uh, the First World War and um, it uh, only lasted a few years uh, from 1919 to uh, 1929 uh, then. We had the, the crash uh, at the stock market in yes. New York, uh, and um, the American banks um, um, wanted all their money back, uh, which they had lent to, to Germany. Yes. And uh, it um, destroyed the, the economy in Germany. Yes. And um, created a sort of a, a path for uh, Hitler. Yes. To a grip power uh, a few and, years later in 33. And part of the reason that the democracy was so young was that the German, the German country was, what was it, divided into city-states? Uh, yes, um, there were uh, several states, I don't remember how many, but um, it was sort of conglomerate of uh, small states um, until um, 1870 or 1871, uh, then uh, Germany was uh, put together, but um, it was rather a few years, but uh, they didn't have democracy at no. that time, they had a Kaiser. Yes, you know, yes, um, because the, the and, and this is also, this goes to why the, the German, the, the country of Germany was divided it, it's this idea of what was it of Rome? Yes. So so they they wanted a new they, they wanted to rebuild the the empire of Rome and hence the the Kaiser and the 
and the reason that it was so so split was that Rome fell and then it was these various city states and yes and, um, and and some of it actually you know some of the empire of Rome in fact became different countries like the Italy was part of yes that's Italy. right yeah. and the I think the, the idea of Hitler's idea was in fact to create to, to recreate the, the a, a sort of Roman Empire. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, but it should be a German <laughs> yes. Empire. And um, uh, in fact, he, um, he wanted to um, conquer the whole world. Yes. In the first place, um, uh, destroy the Eastern uh, countries and uh, annihilate the Jews. And um, when that were, uh, had been fulfilled, he would also uh, conquer uh, the British Empire yes. uh, and rule the world. Um, you have uh, watched the movie with the Chaplin when he... Uh, the, uh, yes, <laughs> the, the great dictator. With yeah. the, 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 he, he plays... It's, uh, it's like a balloon yes. of, of the world. Of the whole world. He plays with the whole world. Yes, yeah. that, that movie rather... It, it's a great depiction of basically, you know, you have the Chaplin's character who's basically Hitler, and then you have that other character who's basically Mussolini, yes. and they're both depicted as essentially spoiled children. Yes. There's a scene where they attack each other with food, mm -hmm. and the the sort of you know you you realize that this is what they are. They are they are spoiled children. But in real life, they don't attack each other with food. They send tanks and infantry units. That's it, yeah. But but yes, the part of the well, the the thing with the Third Reich. Yes. The the third. I guess the word is kingdom I, I, in English. Yes. Uh, the first Reich uh, uh, was uh, created in eighteen seventy or seventy one when they conquered uh, France. Um, or just before they conquered uh, France uh, in that war. Um, and uh, the Second Reich uh, uh, was um, um, created after uh, the First uh, World War. Yes. Um, it, it was a democracy, you know. And um, they were doing fairly well, the politicians. They were, they were not uh, stupid. They, they um, did a lot of good things for Germany. And, and if you go back to the First Reich, they already had created a sort of welfare state where um, every citizen um, could have medical um, care, yes. um, free medical care, and uh, free uh, school and, uh, uh, schools and uh, university. So um, that there were many good ideas in the First uh, Reich. And, um, I believe that it um, went on in the Second Reich and uh, the Third Reich with, with those rights. Yes. But uh, what Hitler added was um, uh, xenophobia yes. <laughs> in uh, the highest degree, uh, a the hatred of all foreign um, peoples. Yes. The, the <clears throat> did did uh, were the rights still there? The the sort of yeah the, yeah, the rights you mentioned uh, when, you know, during Hitler's reign or... What's yes, it? Um, it went on. All, all the medical care was free and uh, schools and universities and so on. Um, but uh, most men had to serve in the army or in yeah. the navy or the yeah. air force. Or and I suppose that is why, or at least part of why, so some Americans call the you know, yeah, the, the healthcare system, socialism. Oh, yes. And are so worried about it when in reality it's a fantastic thing and it was there before. Yeah. It, it, they didn't have socialism in, in Germany uh, from 1870 uh, until Hitler came to power. They had a sort of social democracy with strong conservative uh, parties. Yes. Uh, and liberal parties, of course. Um, 
they had a lot of communists, but I don't think they had uh, any power uh, between 18, uh, 1900 and uh, the First World War, 1914. I don't think um, they were just uh, movements, but yeah. not parties. But later on, of course, they also had um, a communist party, but uh, it, it was not strong enough to stand up against uh, Hitler, no. because uh, the Social Democrats uh, hated the Communists, yeah. and uh, the Liberals, uh, they were not liberal. Uh, uh, in fact, they, they didn't like um, um, the idea of democracy. No. There was Van Papen, who um, in the first place was elected uh, to become um, uh, Chancellor in Germany. Yes, yes. Um, he, um, he, he told Hitler, I have to be um, uh, the first uh, and you have to be the second, uh, the vice chancellor. Yes, yes. But uh, Hitler wouldn't uh, agree on that, so he demanded that he should be chancellor and then von Patten should be um, the second in command. Yes. But, um, and um, in the end, uh, von Papen accepted that um, because he thought that. It was. It would be easy to control Hitler. Yes. Yes. Um, he was very naive, but he was, in fact, anti-democratic. He was not a democrat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, perhaps that, that was one of the reasons why he accepted Hitler as chancellor, because he knew that he would have a lot of power. Yes. And at the same time, he and the conservatives thought that they could control Hitler. He will only last two or three months and then he will be finished because his ideas are completely foolish. Yes, yes. And um, he thought it was just uh, an interim uh, government with uh, Hitler yeah. as chancellor. And, and the... He was fatally wrong. No. Yes, and, and in fact many of Hitler's ideas were, were quite f foolish, but what, what was it that made him endure? I guess yeah, he, he was very brutal in taking taking out his uh, political opposition once he got power. Oh yes, uh, he just um, uh, called up um, the SA, uh, the Sturmabteilung, yeah. uh, who were in fact uh, a couple of million thugs who uh, beat people up, uh, beat up uh, the opponents, and and they turned up at um, uh, the Reichstag, the Parliament, and uh, when he had come into power and uh, they just um, beat up uh, all um, the opponent party uh, yeah. members and uh, threw them out of the parliament, the yeah. Reichstag. So there were only, I think there were conservatives still and um, of course uh, the Nazis, uh, the member of the Nazi party in, in the party in the uh, Reichstag. Uh, but then, um, only I think um, a month uh, after he had come to power, the Reichstag burned. Yeah. And uh, we can't prove it, but it's um, evident that uh, it must have been the Nazis who um, uh, put the building on fire. Or, and, and then he put um, uh, very um, <coughs> stupid um, Dutch communists in the building, so they had one they could grab yeah. and uh, indict yes. afterwards. Exactly. And of yes. course, he was uh, executed for uh, putting fire uh, yeah. to the and a mock trial, basically. Yes. To, yes. to make it seem. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think some historians um, uh, contend that there was a sort of tunnel from. Um, um, I think it was Göring's house to uh, the Reichstag, so he <laughs> could have uh, yeah. let uh, SA people uh, go there and put a, a, a place on fire. They had brought uh, with uh, them uh, the Dutch man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was uh, called Van der Lübe, I think. But of course, uh, it was just a show trial against. Him. Yeah, and then. The democracy, uh, the, the building of democracy was destroyed. Yeah. So that was the end of <laughs> democracy. And on the 1st of May, 
uh, which uh, used to be the workers' day, um, he uh, made a big party um, <laughs> uh, to to celebrate uh, the, the workers' day. You know. Yes. And um, which uh, would uh, make a lot of people think, oh, we still have the workers' day. Yes. It, yes. We have a big party, but the communists. They were beat up or they were arrested. Yeah. Uh, thousands of them, uh, the leaders were arrested and put into jail or concentration camp. Yeah. Uh, the first uh, concentra concentration camps uh, were um, uh, built um, just after Hitler had uh, come to power in the, the, on the first, uh, 31st of January 1933. So a couple of months later, a lot of communists and other opponents were sent to jail. And, yeah. of course, all um, game uh, people, yes. uh, they could get hold of. Yeah. And um, then the leader of SA, um, Röhm, who had uh, helped uh, people, uh, uh, Hitler, Hitler to, yes. into power, um, he was um, forced uh, to commit suicide, which he wouldn't do, uh, and then one of Hitler's helpers uh, shot him. And a few hundred other uh, of the leaders of the SA, yes. the stormtroopers, um, who perhaps um, would have had um, um, a big power if Hitler hadn't done that. Yes. And then he, um, after that, he forced all uh, soldiers and uh, stormtroopers to um, pronounce an oath yes. uh, of, um, you know, um, the devotion devotion to to Hitler. Yes. yes. So I yeah. don't know it by heart, but it, it was um, you had to sacrifice yourself uh, if it was necessary. Yes. To sacrifice your blood for Hitler. And in that way, it. You know, they went from being this tool that he could more or less control to take out his political opponents to someone more or less directly under him once, you know, because the the leader of the SA, he had done what Hitler needed him to do. Yes. And that, yeah. that is indeed the one of the dangers of a totalitarian regime, even if you help the yeah, the, the dictator, you yeah. might end up dead because he's too paranoid, perhaps. Yes, I, I, I guess Hitler was uh, uh, paranoid. Uh, and um, I don't think that Röhm would have um, deposed uh, Hitler no. from power. Uh, I think he would have helped him. But uh, perhaps he, he would have um, uh, helped him in a different way than yes. Hitler would have liked him to. Uh, and that was the, the problem. And uh, if he could persuade the army uh, not to go into war, because I don't think Röhm uh, wanted a, a world war. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he wanted a strong Germany, of course, but that was it. Now, the why was it that Hitler was able to do away with democracy. What was there some, some something missing to make it a legitimate democracy that should have prevented? Um, I don't really know. Um, uh, have you any idea on that? Uh, uh, I uh, not offhand. I, another mm. thing I was thinking about was. Maybe some. It was a young democracy. Yes. And yes. in a way, it was weak uh, against a totalitarian uh, power. Yes. Uh, which Hitler was, of course. And uh, you mentioned before that uh, in the movie with the Chaplin, he um, behaved as if he was a spoiled child. Yes. And in fact, he was a spoiled child. We Very know much. that. Yes. Because. Um, um, almost all his uh, brothers and sisters died in the, uh, as uh, babies or in, in childhood. And um, I think he had um, uh, a sister who was not very bright. And uh, he, um, 
he uh, didn't like her at all. Um, and in the family there were, um, were, was um, a person who was, uh, I don't know whether he or she was crippled or whatever, but uh, sort of a half invalid. Yes. And he hated invalid. Yes, yes. Uh, he hated everything that was different. Uh, yes. Or, um, so um, that was one of the reasons why all um, People who were ins all either insane or <coughs> crippled um, or uh, had, were very feeble-minded uh, should be exterminated. Mm -hmm. And about 90,000 uh, were uh, killed yeah. by doctors, in fact, yes. or doctors, helpers. Uh, it was a terrible crime and uh, it was uh, stopped by Hitler personally. Uh, when um, some pastors or priests uh, began preaching about it or yes. mentioning uh, it in, uh, in the churches. Yes, yes. He, he wanted to make sure he had the church's approval. Yes, um, even if he thought that um, uh, Christ uh, was ridiculous. Yes, he was, yes. He, actually, he was a weak person. Yes, yes. He, he was he, a, a weak God. Yes, uh, he didn't understand why people would worship someone who no. let himself be sacrificed. No, he, no. he would have preferred perhaps a, a destroyer. Yes, as, as yeah, a, I'm yes. sure. I'm sure you're right. And, um, well... <clears throat> He, uh, of course, um, uh, tried to, to have good relations yes. with clergymen and uh, the Pope. Yes. Um, because a lot of Germans were uh, very religious. In the southern part, uh, they were mainly Catholic, and in the northern part, Protestant. Uh, it, he was uh, very skillful at. Um, befriending the parties he wanted to uh, to have in his way. Yes, the, the ones that he needed to to kind of yeah, to, to use yes. in order to to gain the yeah, to, to be able to do what he wanted to. Right. What was the background of the SA troopers? Um, <coughs> excuse me, I think that um, most of them um, had uh, been brought up very, very fiercely, with a lot of uh, beating um, from their fathers or, um, and, or uh, their teachers. Um, and uh, in a way, they, uh, a lot of them had become uh, psychopaths yes. because of their upbringing. And uh, they were also uh, growing up in very, very hard times um, during the First World War from 14 to 18. Um, food was scarce, um, they had to work a lot, um, uh, all the men had gone to the front uh, either in uh, Russia or in France. Um, and. Um, it meant that uh, their childhood had been very, very uh, hard. Uh, they had uh, had a lot of hardship. And I think that had uh, toughened them and they, they had become um, hateful. Yes. Uh, and um, they, they sort of had to let out all this hatred. And, yes, yes. And they did that during the 20s when they helped Hitler uh, to gain power, more yes. and more power. Another example of Hitler basically just using people that he, you know, here, here's this group of very violent people and he has use for them so he just, he channels their rage towards something that he wants taken care of yes. and because of that, you know, where it's, he, he liked easy solutions, you might say. He was very much a, what's the word, populist yes. politician. Mm. So he, instead of, you know, maybe if a, a long-term solution for all these very brutal people would maybe be to try to rehabilitate them, but rather he just 
made sure that they attacked people that he hated. The, if, if they were, for example, just walking the streets and attacking people at random, then it would have been called, you know, gang activity or oh, the yes. like. Yeah. But instead he made sure that they just, yeah, that they attacked the ones he wanted dealt with and, right. you know, and, and using the church mm -hmm. and, and as you said, throwing a big party on the on the workers day oh, yeah. so that they would think that which actually i think it might be called labor day in yeah Latin labor day yes, yes. <laughs> well um and a very important aspect of, of hitler's uh, weight of power was that um, he um, told the german people that providence had selected him exactly yes to save the german people yes. so a lot of people looked upon him as if he was Christ himself who had come to earth to save the German yes. people yes and from all evils in the world and it's it's the the contrast between him coming in and saying I will take care of everything yes. if, if you follow me everything will be good yeah. versus we the, you know on the other hand you had these you know, more or less democratic politicians who, you know, they, they were trying to fix things. They were realistic, mm. but democracy is sort of a long-term, you know, real solutions are more long-term. They tend not to be easy mm. and, and certainly not fast. So, and, and with a young democracy, he quickly convinced people that Democracy just leads to more of the bad you've already experienced because they couldn't necessarily tell the difference between okay Are we under the Kaiser and he's starving us mm -hmm. to to lead World War one mm -hmm. or are we under? You know a democracy who are trying slowly to get us out of so mm -hmm. so when he comes in and says Just follow me and I'll do everything. It was very much a sort of He, he knew how to play Yes, the kind of and uh, you know uh, the the treaty uh, which was um, uh, signed in 1919 with all the victorious powers, uh, United States, uh, Great Britain, France, uh, together, uh, they um, told the people, they dictated the German, you yes. have to accept this treaty which meant that uh, Germany would have to pay um, uh, war reparations for, I, I think, from 1920 to 1980. Uh, you, you were talking of billions of uh, gold uh, marks, uh, yes. uh, which would be fairly impossible for them to do. I uh, think the, the American President Wilson was against it. Yes. Uh, he wanted to create um, the People's League, um, and uh, he did, in fact, uh, it was sort of forerunner of uh, the United Nations. Yes, yes. And he wanted all the, the different nations in Europe to uh, have their freedom and live in harmony with each other. But um, I think the, the French um, uh, Prime Minister and the uh, the Italian or some others were against Wilson, so he uh, he uh, was unable to persuade them to to do it the the better way. Yes, uh, yes. <clears throat> and uh, Hitler, of course, in uh, all his uh, speeches, mentioned uh, that uh, Germany had been stabbed in the back yes. by politicians back home in Berlin. Uh, who were mainly Jewish? Of you said po politicians. 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 Yes. Yeah, politicians yes. back home, um, and they were mainly Jewish, of course. And um, um, what was uh, yeah. um, And um, I just touched it all. Uh, yeah, the Jew Jewish politicians. The Jewish politicians, and they were stabbed in the back, and. Um, um, and of course the war reparations. Yes, yeah. yes, and of course it. 
uh, the 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 stabbed in the back. That was this this myth that he was perpetuating again, offering this easy you know explanation of because it was very hard for the people to accept that they had been betrayed by the Kaiser, yes. who in fact made sure that he wasn't in Germany when it was when it became clear that the that the Germany would lose. Mm -hmm. he, he fled to Holland. Exactly. <laughs> so so, so. That, and and it's very and, and uh, you know the um, uh, field marshals who had told him we we can't go on with the war. They had won a lot of territory in France in the beginning of uh, uh, in the spring and summer of 1918, but in uh, the course of a few months they had lost uh, a million men and. Um, they couldn't supply the, the soldiers with food and the ammunition enough. So the field marshals had to tell the Kaiser, Wilhelm, um, we have to stop the war. We have to have an armistice. And uh, of course, they afterwards told um, Hitler and the politicians that the, it was the politicians back home, yes, yes. who had demanded that the war should stop. It was not the field marshals, yeah. because they had kept on telling him, we're winning, we're winning. And um, it was uh, Ludendorff, um, one of them, and um, well, he had won, uh, both in 1914 and also a part in 1918, uh, won uh, great victories, but in the end, the Germany was more or less suffocated uh, because of the blockade, uh, so they, they couldn't get food from many, many uh, places. Yeah. They, they bought from Denmark uh, and, um, of course, they took what they could get hold of yes. in the occupied countries. But, uh, um, of course, they had to to stop the war. They had lost two million uh, dead soldiers and a lot of uh, a lot more wounded and the women uh, had to um, work in factories on the starva uh, starvation um, ration yeah. so uh, and the children had to work also it was a terrible time uh, of course they couldn't go on and, uh, now the I also wanted to bring up that you mentioned the the sort of xenophobia that that Hitler kind of he he used the the xenophobia. There was in fact the the anti anti Semitic kind of atmosphere was yeah. fairly common back then that he that that he took advantage of. Oh yes, he he played on. Um feelings uh, that were common among a lot of people. Yes. Uh, not only in Germany. Uh, in France, in France uh, there were a lot of anti-Semitic uh, feelings and uh, in Russia and um, many other countries. Uh, and uh, it went back uh, hundreds of years uh, yes. in uh, time. So uh, Luther, for instance, <laughs> was um, uh, very anti uh, Jewish. Yes. And um, I think uh, he just played on feelings uh, who were, uh, which were almost un subconscious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were very easy to, to bring uh, to, to light. Uh, so um, people could unite on that. Yes. Xenophobia. Uh, and it made them feel uh, strong. Yes. <clears throat> and it again, like, like we were talking about, the, the, the idea of having to admit that our leader betrayed us, mm. that, that maybe we really couldn't, is a lot harder than to just accept, well, it was this group of people who, you know, who betrayed us, who we can, so, so Hitler blamed the politicians and the Jews mm. for the you know the the German loss of of, of the First World War yes. and 
that yeah that that also gave them some something else that's very typical of a totalitarian state the uh, what's the term in english the the enemy from the outside oh yes know, yes that that the people can then unite against yes now i also wanted to talk about another reason that the sort of or yeah one one motivating factor in world war 2 was that germany came late to colonialism that that's right um, and hitler was very envious of um, uh, the colonial powers uh, especially great britain and yes. france uh, they had more or less divided Africa between them. <laughs> so the Germans uh, were very late in um, colonizing uh, East Africa, part of East Africa, and uh, a few other parts. Um, so that was uh, one of the reasons uh, why he wanted to uh, create a greater Germany, um, because uh, the German people needed it. Uh, there was too little space uh, for them, uh, 80 million people uh, in a comparatively small country uh, compared to uh, the United States or the Soviet Union. So he looked uh, east and saw, oh, there are a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, we need space. So of course we have a right to it because we are Germans yes. and we are the best people in the world. Um, so other people's, uh, people, uh, people's have to uh, move away or be uh, killed. Yeah. But, uh, that's the only solution to it. In fact, it would have been much better for Germany if um, they had traded yes. with um, all other countries uh, because they had a, a very um, good industry <coughs> before the First World War and uh, I think um, after the First World War, uh, and when it, uh, the industry was rebuilt, um, they very quickly um, got along with the Soviet Union and uh, other countries in trading. Yes. So uh, it would have been much better for Germany just to trade yes. uh, and become richer that way. And uh, they could sell in industrial products yes. and buy food uh, for the money they got out. Yes. And in fact, that's often something that, you know, history shows us that often after a long war, once the countries start trading with each other, mm. it, it's, it's of mutual benefit and it's a much greater benefit than waging the war was. It's... The, the EEC uh, is a good uh, example uh, that you can uh, prevent war by having good trade with your neighbors. Yes. And uh, I think we are now 27 um, members of the EEC. Yes. And um, there's no sign at all that uh, we're going to wage war against each other. No, no. Uh, on, the, on the contrary, yes. we are trying to expand uh, the EEC. And uh, today we have Ukraine. Um, where a lot of people um, would like to be associated with the EEC. Yes. But Putin, on the other side, um, yeah. pulls the country uh, in the other direction. Yes. And has threatened to um, either stop for the deliverance of uh, gas uh, from Russia or um, demand all the money that yes. <laughs> the Ukrainians have borrowed uh, to repay uh, pay back. So. He has a lot of, uh, put a lot of pressure on the, the government in the Ukraine. Yes. Now, the another thing about the colonialism was that the the, the Roman Empire actually kind of you might say in the long run led to this kind of you know, led, led to Germany being a bunch of city-states. Yes. Mm. The kind of 
with the, the size of the Roman Empire. You know, in, in, there's that, that phrase about that no matter the size of the empire, it will eventually fall. And once the, the Roman Empire fell, it was a matter of, you know, these different parts of it forming different countries and this kind of thing. And in Germany, it just, it, it wasn't very, it, it, took, it took them a while to assemble into mm -hmm. one set country. Yes. Now, in fact, the, the, the whole thing with trade, it, it, it was probably the wrong choice to ask for the, the amount of reparations that the Allied forces did mm. after World War I, yes. because it really did not allow Germany to get back on its feet. No which was very much the, that, that was basically what was done, what the Allied forces did. Mm -hmm. Particularly, America was very, was excellent in doing that mm -hmm. after World War II. Yes. The, what, what was the, the Marshall The Marshall um, aid, uh, aid I, yes. Uh, it, uh, it helped uh, Germany, especially, and also Denmark and other countries who have been occupied. Uh, to to rise uh, very quickly um, to uh, a better uh, economy. Yes. All uh, the factories who have been destroyed in Germany were rebuilt. I went to Germany uh, for the first time 17 years after the war ended, and uh, I could uh, see very uh, few signs of uh, war. Yes. Um, most of the buildings in Hamburg, for instance, were quite new, of course. Yes. But I, I, I didn't see um, any ruins in the center of the town. At the outskirts, I saw some um, concrete blocks yes. that had been blown up, uh, and they had been uh, difficult to remove, I think. Yeah. But yeah. that was the only thing I saw. Uh, and so it. it it helped the Germany uh, in the course of 15 years or so. Yes. The first couple of years they were moving away all the bricks and, uh, um, and uh, uh, rubbish and <clears throat> uh, you had um, uh, a name for the women who did that. It, uh, it was mainly women because uh, the men were either dead or crippled or yes. in uh, captivity. So uh, the women were called Trümmerfrauen. Trümmer, that means ruins in German. Ah, yes. Uh, and women it, of ruins. Yes, uh, yes. And they uh, lived mainly on potatoes uh, the first year, I think. And um, I've been told by one who grew up in Germany, a young lady, uh, uh, who um, uh, said they, they didn't starve during the Second World War. They got provisions from Denmark. But yes. after the war, the British occupying forces uh, had great fun of just throwing a little food to them, but not enough. Yeah. And um, not until after the war they, they, they did they start. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's after this whole thing. Well. <laughs> uh, I, I think I have some. Also wanted to, and, and in fact, that's the, the colonialism is something that is is some sometimes glossed over when, mm. when we talk about mm. the you know the horrors of Nazism. That really Britain was very much they they had a lot of the. Yeah, you, you mentioned Africa, and mm -hmm. I mean, they, they had a lot of ground yes. under their control. Yeah. Of course, they were exploiting all the peoples uh, in the, the, the countries <laughs> they had um, uh, clamped down upon. Uh, uh, India, for example, and a lot of uh, uh, greater parts of Africa. And. Um, I was just going to mention um, yes. before that um, the reason why the re war reparations were so um, uh, high for
from Germany was that the blame for the start of the yes. World War was put on Germany. But, um, you know, Great Britain had no reason to join the war. No. There's, yeah. um, they had no treaty with other countries. France and Russia had a treaty. Yes. Um, and uh, Russia wanted to help Serbia, uh, who had been, um, which had been um, badly treated uh, by uh, um, Austria-Hungary. Yes, yes. Which was a, a big empire. And um, when um, <clears throat> Franz Ferdinand, uh, who was going to um, take over power in Austria-Hungary, uh, he was killed in Sarajevo. Yes, yes. Um, I think in 28th of June 1914. It's almost a hundred years ago. Um, then um, Austria demanded from Serbia um, a, a lot of things that they simply couldn't um, agree on. Yes, yes. Because they, they wanted to have a war with Serbia. Yeah. And then Russia of course, was asked, will you uh, help us if uh, Austria attacks us? Yes, the, the Russian Tsar said. Yes, yes. And um, then uh, Austria asked Germany, will you help us with if we um, go to war? Yes, yes. Uh, and you, you have to pressure them, Germany told them. Of course, Germany, you could blame Germany for part of it, but they were not the only uh, party no, who wanted exactly. war. Exactly. Uh, Great Britain joined the war uh, a few days uh, after the 1st of September. Yeah. Um, when um, um, Russia and Germany uh, had uh, clashed uh, a little bit and um, Germany had um, um, passed through uh, Holland and Belgium into France, then Great Britain joined because um, they were afraid that uh, Germany would be uh, become too strong if they won uh, yes. this war. Yes. And, and, and because uh, the British Empire was so uh, huge, yes. they were uh, afraid that we were going to lose the British Empire. Yeah, of course. And of course they couldn't allow Germany also to become great. Exactly. <laughs> because, like, uh, as, as you mentioned earlier, that the Germans thought that they were the best and the British, of course, also thought yes. that they were the best. Yes. And they, they brought civilization uh, to, um, to all uh, corners of the earth. The white man's burden. With the white man's burden and by Kipling. Yes, yes. And, and the in fact, so, so yes, it's, it's a bit more of a, a tangled web of who exactly was to blame for World War One, mm. and even even if they, you know, even if you pointed to one specific country and said they were to blame, mm. the you know these high reparations was, you know, I mean they they were almost asking for another war. Oh yes, yes. It's historians was, nowadays uh, say that um, uh, we have a uh, 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 long long. Uh, war, um, uh, world war, world war with just um, a, a break, yes, of twenty yes. years, and for for another generation yes. of young men to grow exactly. up and be able to yes, exactly. And the I also wanted to bring up. Well, there, there was the... Uh, maybe that is actually... I don't know, do you have uh, more on the subject? No, not at the moment. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that pretty well covers it, so thank you for participating. You're welcome. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.